everyone. Now, last night I post a uh, opportunity on Spot, Spotify, right? And uh, we like to own this company, but I mean the the price is hundred hundred plus dollar. So instead of owning the company, we say that okay, let's uh, create some um, income uh, on this company and uh, by by selling a credit spread. Then uh, I know that credit spread is kind of uh, uh, advanced for some uh, new traders. But actually, what, all you need to do is just follow my, follow the the uh, my the, the trade, but the Excel spreadsheet, the, all the information details are there, right? And uh, the the problem is you need to you need to familiarize with with the trading platform, whether you're using Ting or Swim, or whether you're using uh, TradeStations or any other broker, right? The your trading platform is like just like your weapon, your tools, right? If you are not familiar with the tools and how are you going to make money right so before you actually while you well, while you have time i think i would suggest that you go through the demo trade demo account because you, you can have a live you can demo account with the same account number right provided by the broker so uh, it is good that you try to at least put in order right and during uh, when the, and then if you have any questions you should ask you should ask in a group and uh, when uh, you know when so so that not not when you start when when we when we have uh, opportunity then you start asking a lot of, and then then uh, we start to receive a lot of questions about how to put in order is this order correct or not correct you know things like that I think it, it is it is a bit too late right I mean by by the time you ask all the questions that you know, option pricing is already left right remember I posted uh, about the, the trade is uh, spotty thirty cents right can you see that the credit receipt sub sub is two dollar thirty cents. By the time I post and etc etc etc, et et I see I saw the price actually down to about two dollar ten. So now you can see that then you and then if you are not familiar with the platform and whether it's Ting or Swim or whether it's Trade Station or, or any other any other broker, right? It doesn't matter. You you then you start you start to get a bit panning and asking a lot of questions and, and you are supposed to put in your trade by then, right? So and now what happened? The premium keep going down, going down until I heard that it was about one dollar fifty cents. So, end of the day, you are the one who will be losing at the losing end because you are not familiar with the platform, right? So, I would strongly suggest when there's no trade, right? Whenever you have time and pick up a day or uh, put it about half an hour there, navigate through, put in order. Don't put in live account, put into the demo account, right? Based on the trade alert that I have shared with you. Now, if you can just go to the OFA option website, you can see a lot of old, old, uh, old trade alerts there, right? Just pick up any randomly any one of them and put in through your demo demo platform, and you are not sure, right? So that is the time you ask when there is no opportunity, all right? So uh, having said that, let's go on. I want to do a very fast and quick quick uh, 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 demonstrations again how to put in a. Uh, a uh, bull put uh, vertical on thing or swim. So now you can see that uh, this is Spotify is the the ticker symbol is SPOT. Now we are going to put in uh, the trade was posted is yes last night 11 March and uh, we're going to put in a spread credit spread which we call bull put vertical. Another term terminology for it, but it doesn't matter. We know that this is a a credit spread, right? So when we say credit spread, basically we are receiving income. So now you can see that when we receive income, so we see a credit spread. Credit received two dollars thirty cents. Thirty cents. Now sometimes you, when you put in an order, it shows debit. Now that's wrong already, right? Debit means you are paying. So without without question mark, you know that that is wrong because it's debit. Debit means that you are paying out money. Yeah, it's supposed to credit spread. It means that credit spread, you are receiving money. So basically for a credit spread, we buy and sell at the same time. Right, it's just that the time uh, expiration is the same. And then uh, the only difference is the uh, the strike price is different. So we, for here, the information is all you need is all here. That's all. That's that's all you need, right? Expiration twenty fourth of April. The strike price we sell at one hundred and twenty put, and at the same time we buy a hundred and ten put. Then for the selling of one hundred twenty put, we receive an uh, uh, between the, the between these two, we receive a, a different of. Two dollar thirty cents. That is the credit that we're going to credit into our account immediately the moment our order fill. So one contract equivalents to hundred share. So two dollar thirty cents multiplied one hundred share. So if you sell one contract, you are actually receiving two hundred thirty US dollar immediately. Now if you have a bigger appetite, you have bigger account, you sell two contract, three contract, ten contract 
it depends on how much capital you have yeah so if you don't have the kind of capital uh the kind of appetite please do not try to sell too too many uh too many otherwise you can you get uh how you call it we call it i call it, call it you get uh choke <laughs> choke yeah? so please don't do that now one contract 100 shares so if you sell one contract you make 230 dollars us immediately now if you say oh yeah, I, I want to make more say okay put it five contract so five contract you just multiply 230 multiply 500 shares that is the income that you created last night, thousand of a dollar. Then for credit spread, the maximum profit. The maximum profit is the premium that we just we just write uh, uh, write a check for ourselves, which is the two dollar thirty cents, which multiply hundred share minimum, which is two hundred thirty. And the maximum loss is seven hundred seventy, which is the width, right? The width between the two strike less of the two thirty. That is seven seventy seven seven zero. That is our maximum risk or maximum loss in the event that this trade doesn't work out that is the maximum risk right loss so uh the good thing about the uh, uh, doing a spread is uh we uh avoid uh, ru running into risk of have to buy the share right and, and i know that a lot of people say i told them that okay you you don't sell naked put unless you are willing to buy the share but there are many traders i understand that they not only they sell naked put and they don't intend to buy the share they actually over trade right so when we see the s p dow zone drop by 20 uh, uh, uh 20 point you know because of coronavirus not because of economy and what happened all stock across board right well, irregardless what, what stock is unless it's a healthcare right and then you can see that all stock drop and the kind of situation people start to get panic and then they don't they start because they know that they are not supposed to sell so many contracts but yet there's so many contracts because they want to collect more income and what happened is uh, they end up uh, uh buy the close right buy the close the position before the before the stock get assigned to them and then when you buy the close of course you have to pay a premium so the loss will be the when the premium received and the premium that you pay that will be your loss right so this is the reason why people fail when selling option because uh, they sell something that they are not supposed to sell, right? Or they sell too many contracts, right? So please be uh, patient when you want to make, uh, you know, be patient when you sell, sell, sell a neck of put and be, know yourself, right? Know your capacity. Don't try to make money very fast and yet you end yourself, yourself into trouble. So having said that, let's move on to, to I'll show, show you, demonstrate to you how to put in a, a, a bull, uh, bull put uh, vertical spread. Expiration is 24 April. We are going to sell 120 put and buy 110, right? So we go up, go to our thing or swim. We go to the trick, the trick tabs here, trick tabs. Then we look for the a 17 April expiration, right? This is the strike. Now we go down all the way to. We're going to. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm very forgetful nowadays. Huh? Okay, we're going to sell 120 and buy at 110. Sell at 120. So we just go to the 120. You see this 120. We just uh, click and sell, sell. Now, remember you are selling a spread, so you should keep, you click vertical. Whether you are trading with uh, Ting or Swim or whether you are trading with uh, Trade Stations or any other option broker, as long as you are trading a spread, you just go to vertical, right? That, that's it, simple. When you do a spread, means you are in and buy and sell order at the same time. You just go to vertical, irregardless whatever uh, option platform you are using. So now we go, we click vertical. Immediately you can see what happened. There are two order pop up, right? One is to sell, one is to buy. Now, so we see that sell one contract, one minus one means sell. Plus one, you can see here. When you see a plus one means you are buying. Quite quite, uh, it's quite uh, easy to understand. Now check your expiration date. Make sure it's the same. Now we are selling 120. Now not call, yeah. We're going to change to put. We are selling put, right? And we are buying. 110 so we just change this to 110 put credit receive eight dollar 35 cents of course they mean how come the, the the premium go up so high because now the market close so when the market close the premium is not reliable not trustable really bother them the premium is not reliable right so over here we always use a limit order you can have market order etc but we always use limit order to get in because if you use a market order it means that you might not get receive the premium that you we wanted right so we always use a premium limit order to get in now this order here day day means that if you put a day there 
it means that the order will automatically cancel. If during the um, market open, your order never get triggered, it will automatically cancel. Then next day, you can redo it again. So usually, I would suggest just put to GTC. GTC means good to cancel, right? And for the exchange, they are main exchange here, but just leave it to the best because they will rewrote. They'll, they'll, they'll go around with different exchange and then they'll give us the best fit, right? So after all, you finish all this, really, one more last thing you need to check is credit, right? See this? We are receive, we are selling a credit spread. Well, make sure there is a word credit because when you are doing, as example, let's say do example, you do a, a debit, you realize that it's different. Debit. Debit means you paying, right? So we are not paying. We want credit, right? So we turn 10. So, so everything okay, right? Now you can see there's a natural price, there's a mid price. You can actually slide this around, this pricing around. Sometimes you see that oh, value, uh, the price already run away from me. So what is the price should I get in, right? Then you should look at here, right? Usually, if you are receiving an income, you want to slide your bar all the way to your right to receive the maximum income. When you are paying, when you are buying something, you want to slide the bar all the way to the left. And you pay as little as possible, right? So this this logical and makes sense. So now we are selling a credit spread. I want to receive as much as possible. I spread the bar all the way to the right. Finish. I click confirm and send. Now once confirm and send, you also realize that your order not yet executed, right? They just confirm. It's a confirmation dialog, right? They say that okay, well, so they are asking you to check right now. Make sure this is correct, right? So you can see that our break even price is one 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 point sixty five. And the maximum profit is 835. The maximum loss is 165 and things like that, right? So everything is there. Everything is there. Okay, one contract, one contract, 120 credit. Okay. So if everything okay, what we do is just you click confirm. We just send. Okay, send. Now after you send, you go to your monitor tab, activities and positions, and under working order, you can see you should have one working order there, a vertical spread order, vertical. Buy sell at the same time, right? Check through. Anyway, yeah, credit. Now it's working it means that your order is not filled, right? Still working, working for the for the for now market close. Of course, it's working, right? You gotta wait until market open. But sometimes if your premium enter, let's say last night the one we say two thirty, we call it a credit of two thirty. But but if you clean two thirty, but the premium already go lower to two dollar to one ninety five to one ninety, then your order will not be filled, right? So you need to. Be reasonable and check what is the premium price when you about to enter the when enter the trade. The premium can go down, premium can go up, right? So you must do, uh you tell this you have to check because I I have no idea at what time at what day you actually enter the trade. Now once this order fill, you will disappear from the working order here and go into the fill order, fill order, and at, at the same time you appear right down at, at below all your all, all your order. So now that's it. That's that's all you need to do, right? Now, if your order has already filled and you want to find out, hey, how much money I make on this trade? You go to account statement. You see here, account statement. Under account statement, make sure that your account click is a margin account, not click all. You can, you can see that there, there are all, there's margin account. So you click margin account, right? Margin account. And 30 days back from today, right? You can change this. By default, they give you one day. One day. If you put it one day, it means that you can only see one day ago history, right? So usually I put about, it depends how many days you want. You can put seven days, you can put 30 days up to you. Let's say, let's say put seven days. So it will show you for the past seven days all the transactions. Now, once you click here, seven days, right? And then you go to cash and sweep vehicle. Cash and sweep vehicle. You click here and you will see the order you put in and you'll see how much money you create, you have just created for yourself. And you also are able to see how much your account actually go up by the 230. Example, if you sell 100 and buy. So that's how the profit that you just created. Now, if you go to your activities and positioning, you see that all these, that whatever position you have here, I'm not sure whether there's any, this is a, a demo account. Don't have, don't, don't have, I don't have any. Don't have an order there but anyway if you see some order already open and you see oh there's a, a profit and loss open day you know things like that and those are you don't forget about it it's not important to you because uh this figure will changes uh they are taking the the, the premium that you enter or the price you enter compared to the mark price mark price means the last transaction price 
And as, as you know, the market price can go up, market price can go down. So this will always change. It is not important to, to us. Right? So don't get don't get over worried about how come I'm making money and yet here shows here negative, right? Don't bother, right? Because remember, when you are selling something, your maximum lot, your when you're doing credit spread, our maximum profit is only two thirty. Even the price go up to let's say to two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar for Spotify, our maximum reward is only two thirty. That's it, right? So we don't have to worry about that. Now, what is the maximum loss? Seven seventy, right? That is the maximum loss. So don't worry about the rest. Whatever, uh, I mean, don't I say don't worry. About that. What I mean is when you see all these P and L open, P L day, hey, why is it different? Don't really have, don't have to worry, right? So I hope that this uh, uh, short video, the objective is to show you how to put in a vertical spread, right? Because basically we, we put in single order, selling put, buying call, buying put, right? And we also, uh, uh, from time to time, we do some spread uh, opportunity, right? So make sure you familiarize with the trading platform, right? Because this is the tools that you're going to make money. And if you are not familiar with the tools, you're going to make money. How are you going to make money? With this, thank you very much. Okay, see you again next time.